Get ready for a unique experience at the Cincinnati Art Museum. This is so neat. The, the immersive opera, The Thinker, debuts this weekend with a twist. And here to tell us more is composer Nathan Felix. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming in. Um, okay, so I don't immediately want to think opera. Think of it certainly in the way that you are going to perform it at the Cincinnati Art Museum. So let's just start with sort of the um, the way the show is going to be presented, and then we'll get to, into more of what the show actually is. Sure. So it pops up like a flash mob, yeah. but somewhere in the museum that we don't disclose before the show. So the audience sort of walks around, and then it'll pop up. And then it takes you through different galleries um, throughout the, the, you know, the performance. So it doesn't stay in one space. It doesn't stay in one exhibit or one room or anything like that. Nope. Goes upstairs, downstairs, all around. You never know. So people don't know, you know, where it's going to start, obviously. And then, do they kind of follow you around, or is it just going to disappear and then pop up somewhere else? A little bit of both. Bit but of both. we encourage them to follow, and usually, usually they do. But they're in the action too. So the opera singers are right next to them at times, or they come into their space and, and be this close. That, that is such a neat concept. It is. Tell us about the show itself. So it's called The Thinker yeah. and it's in tandem with the Rodin, Rodin. Ex okay. exhibition at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And I wrote a story about this exhibition he did with Monet in the 1880s. And it's a very salacious opera story because it talks about the three different loves of his life that are fighting over him. Mm, I like that. So you are known for this kind of guerrilla style. Uh, of pre presentation. You've done this, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of thing before. Tell us about some of the previous uh, works that you've done like this and how audiences have responded to it. Sure. So I've done, this is, will be my 20th around the country. Ooh, wow. And some of my favorites, I think, would be um, in Louisville, I did one, so not too far from here. Yeah, right down the road, yeah. Called The Artificial Heart, where this uh, heart transplant happens. It was a real story, but I turned them into a zombie and uh, it, it was sort of a, a satirical, sort of comedic uh, performance, and the audience just, they were laughing the entire time. Um, it was on three stories, so people were going up and down the elevators. I often perform in elevators, um, you know, to, to have transitions and things like that. Oh my gosh. So, so, okay. So, explain this to me. You obviously see things a little differently than, than, than folks do the way you kind of put the pieces together. Sure. How do people respond? when all of a sudden there's an opera singer literally just standing <laughs> right next to them. Do you know what I mean? Because that, that, it's, it's in one sense exciting, but is it ever off-putting? Like, how do people respond? You know, I don't think we've gotten a lot of responses that are off-putting, okay. but for instance, we can start a scene here. Um, you know, let's say we're sitting here, yeah. and the opera singers, you know, they're supposed to maybe sit on this, on this desk. So you'll be singing, you know, be, you'll be sitting here watching, and you'll have this opera singer come towards you, and you're like, oh my God, and they'll sit right here. And then you're in the action, oh and the gosh. strings might circle you. So, you know, you never know what you're going to get when you come, which is the fun part. That's really cool. And yeah. I think people are usually receptive to it. I, I want to make sure we get the details out there for people. Is there one performance this, this Friday, or are there multiple? or Just one. Just one. So make, tell us all the details so we can get there. So it's Friday at the Cincinnati Art Museum, and I think they open the doors like at 6.30, but the performance pops up sometime after that. <laughs> um, but they just told me that it's sold out. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. But that's a good problem to have. It, it's a great problem to have. Now, I don't know if that means on, like, you can't get tickets online. You can show up at the door. Not sure. So okay. maybe if someone was interested, they could call, call the museum. Or maybe there's a waiting list or something. Or, right. Or like you said, maybe you can if they yeah. say, just show up. And, yeah. So awesome. Yeah. We'll Nate, I'm fascinated by it. I'm fascinated. This has been great, man. Thank you. Yeah. Really, really appreciate it. You all can be my guest if you'd like. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank I'll you. Room for you if oh you're interested. Okay. okay. Thank you. Because I know you have a background in theater. Yeah. I read all about you, and you're you're playwright as well. Yeah, so wonderful. Maybe That's I can interview you all one day. And there okay. you go. We'll we'll flip it around. We're not nearly gosh. as interesting as you, but we'll try. I know. Gosh. Um, thanks again for Thank coming. You. Break a leg. Have so much fun. Hey there. Thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links. Hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.